Alright guys, it's Jam, and yes, last night, I got drunk with Pomage. Now, I'm not sure if this story was influenced by the fact that I'm extremely sick, as you can tell by my voice, or if somehow somebody slipped me some drugs before I went to sleep, but I had the strangest dream, and the most nerdy dream I've had in my entire life last night. So if you guys don't know already, Pomage lives in Vancouver now, and I also live in Vancouver. So I'm not sure how this happened, but last night when I went to sleep, I dreamed about Pomage. Now, most kids dream about having, like, goals. Most dream about girls. Most dream about a successful future. But I'm sitting here dreaming about a Call of Duty YouTube sniper that lives in my general area. So it all started in the dream when I came home from work. Now, I don't understand how this dream happened, but I, re I, I literally felt like it was 100% real. So I came home from work, like I always do every day, and I came home, and my mom says, there's a guy on the phone for you named Austin. So I'm like, Austin? I don't know an Austin. So I picked up the phone, and Pomaj starts doing a commentary. He starts doing a commentary, like a live sniping commentary, into the phone. He never says my name or anything, but he's just doing a commentary. He's like, what up guys, it's Pomaj bringing you another video, and I'm like, hello, Pomaj? Pomaj? And he just continues doing a sniping commentary, so I just hung up, because... That was the weirdest thing that ever happened in my life. But it doesn't. That's not the weirdest thing. Because it gets weirder. So, I hear the doorbell ring. And I open the door. And outside, there is a limo parked on my front doorstep. A limo with the big freaking Pomage logo on the side of it. Everywhere. And it's got scuff, like sponsorships all over the limo. The tires are like lined with gamma. And I was like, what is happening right now? And outstep, the door opens, right? The door opens slowly. And Logic, under pressure, like the song Logic, under pressure, starts playing. And, Lo and Pomage just steps out. And it's like a slow motion moment where he, like, gets out of the car and he, like, takes off his glasses slowly. And as he takes off his glasses, he's like, jam. And I'm like, That's, this, is my, this, is, this, this is my facial expression. And I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I was supposed to, like, say hi to Pomage or if I was supposed to run. So I just slammed the door in his face. But then when I went inside, I, I don't remember the details exactly, but somehow Pomage ended up managing to get into my house. I don't know if I let him in the door or if like he stuck through the window because dreams get fuzzy sometimes, but somehow Pomage ended up in my house. Not only did Pomage end up in my house, but he brought three pounds of marijuana. Marijuana. I don't even smoke, but Pomage brought three pounds of marijuana. I don't know what's wrong with me, to be honest. So Pomage starts smoking this in my house. And I'm like, you can't be smoking weed in my house, Pomage. I don't care who you are. You can't be smoking weed in my house. So Pomage is smoking weed. And he's like, it's okay, dude. Let me just play on your account. So Pomage gets on my account while smoking weed. And while he, he's high out of his mind, manages to hit seven, six on screens in advanced warfare on my account. I don't know why. I don't know why I imagined and dreamed of six on screens that Pomage hit on my account, but it happened. And then suddenly he's like, all right, dude, now that you've got all these six on screens, let's celebrate. So somehow, I'm not sure how this happens, but he sticks his hand up in the air and he, he didn't bring in something out of his pocket. He just sticks his hand up in the air and suddenly a bottle of Jack Daniels appears in his hand. So not only does Pomage smoke weed, but now he wants to get drunk with six on screens. So he opens this bottle and me and Pomage just get wasted together. Like, we're just rolling, rolling on the ground laughing. And then somehow, while he was wasted, I murdered Pomage. Like, I just straight up killed him. I took a knife. I thought it was a good idea for some reason. I don't know if it was the drugs or the alcohol. But I stabbed Pomage in the face and took his YouTube account. And then suddenly, I just posted an update video on Pomage's channel telling him that he died of overdosing and that I was the new Pomage, so everybody subscribed to my channel. So, I was famous in my dream for like 30 seconds, all because Pomage decided to come over to my house and smoke weed and get drunk with me. I'm extremely sick, guys. I don't know what's going through my mind right now, but that's... I just wanted to tell you guys that dream because that is... that is just... That's just wrong. It's just, it's just wrong. This has been Jam. See you guys later.